Thanks everybody, welcome back to another piece of Serious Creatures Adventures in Bevo Tech Pack. Um, I did a lot of different things today, so I'm gonna go over through or over some of those things. Um, I started working on something over there, but we'll look at that in a bit. That's probably the next project I'm working on. Uh, let's go quickly over to our main, uh, I guess, machinery room. Things have changed. Aha! Uh -huh. So, I put some new things here. Let me put away this guy. Um, I added a mechanism teleporter frame. So those guys are kind of like a nether portal, but you can connect them to uh, different portals as well. Uh, by using this key code, you can just enter any number. Right now I have it set to 04, uh, 0451. Kind of a reference to something. Um, but I, it doesn't actually link to anything. But I made the, the portable teleporter which also uses the same code, and it just lets me teleport to it. So I can get home very easily right now. Uh, makes things a lot easier if I'm like outside and just want to get home real quick. Um, I moved the, the Applied Energy 6 charge over here as well, because it, it always takes a little while to charge those things. So now we have a very easy way to do it. Let's just grab 16. Uh, thanks to the Factory Manager again. Just a very simple logic to see if it has something in there to charge. If not, put something in there. And now it automatically charges our Certus Quartz and pulls it out when it is done, like that. And it just puts it out here. So I can just charge those things very easily. It's really nice to have this stuff automated, both of those things. Um, later on, I'm gonna hook this up to the ME system as well, so it can pull out the items directly into the ME system. But for now, it's good enough. Uh, I added some more interfaces here because I needed more recipes. Um, it got full. <laughs> I automated a few things here and there. So I added more to it. Also a second molecular assembler. Um, and I added a capacitor bank. This is kind of the storage cell for Ender IO. Uh, each block can contain 5 million IF. And it's like a multi-structure uh, block, so you can you know you can chain multiple things together, and it increases the max capacity, and it can also increase the max input and output for it, um, which is kind of like a oops, kind of like a backup for my energy in case I have, um, in case I need power. Because I actually I'm actually running mostly, well, not mostly, but I added a few solar panels on my roof. And I think I'm going to stick with solar panels for now. And at night you don't get power. So it's good to have this stuff here for nighttime or for, you know, if you just use up a lot of power uh, in general. And then I have this guy up here. This is awesome. This is the wireless charger, also from NIO. NIO has a lot of amazing uh, machines and stuff. This guy lets you charge tools and everything in your inventory. Like I made this jetpack, for example, so I can finally fly around. And as long as I'm nearby, I think it's like 25, 24, uh, 24 blocks or something like that, I'm not exactly sure. Um, it charges everything, everything that's in your inventory, which is pretty awesome, like my atomic disassembler and all kinds of stuff, my teleporter. So it's really cool, as long as I'm in my base, it's, it's getting filled up again. And it's really fast too, like it fills up really fast. Usually when I, like if my jetpack is like completely drained, which is like 2 million RF, and I just teleport in here, it like instantly uh, refills everything, which is amazing. Very cool item to have. Not too expensive either. Um, I might make a few more of those later on if the base gets big, uh, bigger, but for now it's good. If I like teleport into my base or like come down, I'm actually within range of that guy, so it should be good. Uh, what else did I do? I, I made some more items. Um, I also made the, the glider so we can actually fly around quicker. It's really good with the jetpack. You can always like just fly up and then use the glider to like keep going for a while so you don't use any of your jetpack power. And it looks pretty cool too. It doesn't... You used to be like... Um, you used to like lean forward when you do this, but it doesn't seem to do that anymore. Unfortunately. Hmm. But yeah, I love that guy. It's so much fun. You just take your jetpack, fly up, and then wee -hoo! <laughs> You can also hold shift to go faster, but I think you descend faster as well. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Saves so much on the jetpack. Um, did I do anything outside here? I don't think I did. Uh, but I made this magnet. Um, again, also from NIO. 
And what you do is if you shift right click, you activate it. And then if I like drop any items, they just whoop, come back to you. Plop, plop. Looks pretty cool. It's like orbiting around me, I guess. Ooh, I'm a planet. Uh, anyway. So that's really cool. Um, I used that to go to the nether and actually fly up to the ceiling. By the way, here are the solar panels. I have two more, but I haven't hooked them up yet. I just go to the nether, fly up to the to the glowstone, use my silk touch pick to mine the glowstone, and then have the magnet on so it actually um, picks everything up. And maybe you just saw it. It instantly refilled as soon as I came down here because of my wireless charger somewhere over there. Very cool. Very cool tool to have. But yeah, I think that's uh, that's all the tools I made. Oh, I made free runners. <laughs> Those are mechanism boots. Let you walk over one high uh, blocks. Very cool. So now, like, usually when I come from here, I always have to go around my machines. Not anymore. <laughs> Just walk over it. Very cool. Does it work this way? Yep, sure does, because the chest is a little bit smaller. So it counts as, like, one block. <laughs> Very cool. So you might have seen this, the giant pile of diamond ore. Um, I actually used my mechanism digital miner to mine some gold and also some diamond and some iron. Uh, I do still have some iron in my inventory, which I need to put into the pulverizer. I have a ton now. Uh, but let's go and fortune this. Oh yeah, fortune three. Are you excited too? Yes, you're excited. He's my new friend. Have I introduced you? I don't think so. Um, let's actually move them up here. I want to. I want. I don't want to see how many I get <laughs> until it's done. Write your guesses down now. What do you think? How many diamonds I get from this? Huh? I guess I can tell you how many ores it is. It's forty-four ores, and I have fortune three. So write it in right now and see how close you were. It's gonna be interesting. I would say. Hmm. Let's see. Fortune gives between one and. Four, I believe. So I would say, uh, it would be awesome if it's like a hundred. <laughs> I say a hundred. Yeah, I say a hundred diamonds. <laughs> Let's see what it is. All right, did you guys make your guess? Oh, we got some in the inventory. I kind of gave it away, I guess. <laughs> Sixty-four and thirty-nine. That's a hundred and three. I was close, right? Is it hundred three? Yes. Oh, I was so close. I wonder if anyone guessed that. 103 diamonds. Awesome. Let's go, little guy. Whee! Let's actually check out the digital miner real quick over here. How are you doing? Oh, he's having power issues, apparently. I might not be getting enough for some reason. But yeah, he's mining away. Look at this iron. So much. It's gonna be awesome. Put in the pulverizer. Hmm. Why do you have problems? Maybe because I just turned the daytime. The solar panels might be working hard. Uh, eh, I don't know. Seems to be okay now. Maybe not. <laughs> Alright, as you might have seen before, I started working on something over here. Uh, so this is going to be a spawner room. And the idea is that I'll have a ton of those things uh, for each like mob I want to spawn. I was thinking about using the um, the Ender.io spawner, but right now you can only use the vanilla ones, like the Blaze Cave Spider, Spider Zombie Skeleton, like those the spawners you also find in vanilla Minecraft. Um, so well, actually. Maybe not just vanilla, because uh, I think I got a, did I get a wisp spawner maybe? I'm not sure. But you can't, like, there, there's supposed to be a, a way to make those soul vials and then, like, capture a mob inside and then use that to create a custom spawner. So if you want, like, a pigment spawner, you could capture a pigment and then turn it into a spawner. Uh, this doesn't work in the current version. Uh, we have zero uh, two point zero point eight for NIO, and that feature is only available at two point one. Um, I tried it out earlier two point one, and to see if I want to manually update it, 
But the spawner itself requires a ton of energy to work. It takes like 800 RF per tick on the lowest setting. Like you can upgrade them too to be faster and spawn more at, this, more at once. Uh, but I think it goes up to like 2000 RF per tick or something like that. And I don't have that power yet. Uh, so I wouldn't even be able to use it. So I think I'm going to stick with the Mine Factory uh, Reloaded Spawner. Uh, the problem with that is it needs a... It needs, uh, what is it called, mob essence to work, and you get mob essence by killing uh, killing mobs using a grinder. Um, there are some other ways, and I'm going to work on that, but yeah, so I think I'm going to put like a mob spawn in here. And maybe even have a way later to, oh god, no, I can't get out of here. <laughs> uh, those conveyor belts are annoying. Um, have a way to like select what type of monster I want to spawn because with the auto spawner you need to put in like a pokeball sort of thing that determines what uh, what mob you're spawning. By the way if you have those plastic boots you can just walk over this stuff. No problemo. Very useful to have when you work with still things. Uh, but yeah so I'm gonna work on that. Um, the design is kinda from my old base for my old old base um, many many servers ago. <laughs> it's been a while. Uh, I tried to copy it here. It does require quartz and it uses the smoky quartz which is from Thorncraft I believe which looks really cool. Um, but yeah, so I'm think, I think I'm gonna oops, stick, <laughs> stick with that design. I think it's fine. Uh, but there is a second way to get mob essence and the way you do it, I don't actually have everything yet to do it, uh, but basically I think I showed them off the last time, those essence berry bushes. If you take experience points um, and you drop it on the mine factory sewer, what's it called? Sewage? Su sewer? Yeah. If you drop them on this guy, which usually you use to put under like um, animals and it would produce sewage, uh, but if you drop experience point orbs onto this, it actually turns it into mob essence. So you can use those essence berry bushes to uh, to get like the essence. <laughs> Do I have any on me right now? I had some in my back before I don't. That's because I'm lazy, let's just teleport over and grab some. I'm pretty sure I have some in here. Yeah. So if you like eat them, you would actually... Y you see how you drop essence? Uh, you can do the same thing with the um, autonomous activator. Those blocks I have over here. What they do is, you can either set them, oops, don't stand in those pushes. <laughs> you can either set them to left click or right click. <laughs> Stop hitting me, because I said left click. And then if you put like uh, like a block inside, it would try to right click it. Um, but, oops, that's probably in this vacuum hopper now. Vacuum hoppers are cool, they like just pull in any items. Whoop. It's kind of like the magnet. Uh, but if you put like the essence berries in there, they actually consume them. Let's actually stand. You see that? Uh, the uh, the hopper can actually pull them in and save the experience points. Uh, but we don't want to use that for that. So my idea here is that we have those essence berry bushes. And when they are fully grown, maybe we can get them to fully grow. Where's my watering can? Oops, I put it inside and I... Yeah. Aren't you? Let's put you down for now. Um, if they are fully grown and those autonomous activators right click them, they actually get the. Ooh, I'm making flowers. <laughs> Great. Uh, they actually uh, pick up the essence itself and then they save them in their inventory and try to right click them. Um, so let's see if that actually works. I want to see what happens here because I tried this in creative a little bit. And it looked like when they tried to harvest this, uh, this stuff, they they didn't actually pick them up. They used to, but they don't seem to do that anymore. Instead, they just drop it on the floor, which is why I have the waking hopper here. So my idea is just to have this as a farm to get the essence itself, and then pump those essence into like a different autonomous activator that would just right click it to to consume it. And then that guy will be on top of a sewer that will pick it up and turn it into mob essence. And then hopefully that way we can get uh, some essence. It's not going to be enough to 
to do much really. Let's actually, I wonder if we can make those blocks. Yeah, tell you what, I'm gonna try to make this sewer and I'm gonna make another Atomos activator. Did I save the recipe? Yes, I did. Look at that. Craft one, please. Thank you very much. Bam. <laughs> Love it. Auto crafting. Um, I'm gonna make this guy too. I doubt I have everything. Almost. And we'll give it a shot and see how it goes. Alright, I made the block. And I don't think it needs uh, any energy. You actually get four for crafting one, which is kind of cool. Oops, it's still on fast mode, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Let's turn it on normal. So let's uh, do like a real quick setup here, just to give it a shot. We will, let's see, we'll have the autonomous activator here, and then we need one block space and then the sewer. I'm going to put the sewer there. It, yeah, it doesn't need any power. You can also increase the, increase the range, but we don't need that. Um, and then we put the autonomous activator, whoops, right here, okay, yep, set the item to insert, okay, is there anything in there right now, no, and also so the orbs don't fly on the ground or somewhere else, I'm gonna close this off again, so it should only land there, so let's see what happens if I put like a couple in there. Is that gonna... Uh, it's not extracting right now. Hold on. Oh, always active. There you go. So you should get it now. Nah. Why not? Oh, wait, no. I have it set to output. Output. I said that weird. Always active. Extract. Oh, because it's not set to an inventory. There you go. Aha! You see the experience points now getting created there? And then they should disappear. Oh, uh, this guy's trying to pull them over too, so we need to make sure that this is blocked off. Uh, but I should probably have gotten some of them. Let's see. Yep! Yeah. And it's full of essence. So this is actually a lot of essence already. Four buckets, just from a couple. I got all, I got most of them, I believe. So this is how I'm gonna do it, and um, they don't really grow very fast, though, unfortunately. Let's actually see if we can stand back a bit. Oops, and get them to grow. I, I just want to see if the essence actually goes into the hopper. Sure it does, and then you saw the particles there a little bit. Cool. So that works. So this is how we're gonna do it. Uh, yeah, but the problem is that they, they are not very fast, they don't grow very fast, but I saw in the Luxica Batania, I like saying that word, there is a, uh, this one, Arica, Aricanation, <laughs> Agri, Agricanation, whatever, uh, it speeds up, like it counts as a fertilizer, it speeds up the rate um, flowers grow at, it's not too expensive, it needs some of those paddles, some mana paddles, and it needs this rune of spring that we need to make. And you make this by creating this runic altar, which we can do, it's not too expensive. It's like, it needs like a mana diamond or pearl. You get that by either tossing a diamond or ender pearl into your mana pool. Uh, and some living rock, and that's really it. Uh, and then it needs a rune of fire and a rune of water. The water one uses mana stealing it, which is uh, iron into your mana pool and some other things, so not too bad. Requires a little bit of power um, or mana. And the fire one is similar, just with like different items here nether stuff and gunpowder. And then you jump that into the altar again and you get the rune of spring. I want to make a couple of those, so uh, it might take a while. And I have to think about how to power them because you need to feed those flowers with mana. Um, I can either put a couple of day blooms down here and then have, or maybe at the top and have like some mana spreaders point down to feed the mana pool. Um, another flower we could use is the end of flame, which I talked about last time. I think we made one, yeah. And have some dispensers here that will constantly spit out charcoal on like a timer because we have so much charcoal. Did you see the farm, by the way? <laughs> I know I showed. Whoa. 
Someone spawned up there? He's trying to shoot me. <laughs> Apparently you can't... Did he spawn up here? Hold on. Oh yeah, I didn't know you could. Well then, good to know. Uh, that could have been a creeper. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, let's go, careful, go up here. So I'm gonna use some of this charcoal from this tree farm uh, to power our stuff. Yeah, I showed you the chest before, right? But we also have this, the overflow chest, because those barrels are full. So yeah, I don't think we'll have problem with charcoal. <laughs> What's in here? I used all the clay and turned it into stuff. So I think that's what I'm gonna do, and it should be good. I don't, like I said, I don't have a lot of mana in here. Oh, actually I do, ooh. That should make this easy. Because I have the chunk loader now, that's probably why. It's been collecting for quite a while. Haha. Uh -huh. So it shouldn't even be that bad. Um, do I have, I don't have any diamond or ender pearl on me, do I? You guys, actually, you might be ready. If I give you a little bit of motivation, hopefully. It always depends on what cycle the ender lily grows is in. Uh, doesn't look like it wants to grow though. Yeah, so let me go get, uh, get some things and see if we can actually get the materials for this. Alright, I grabbed a bunch of things. I actually have like 60 iron left, which is kind of funny. Uh, but like I said, I found a bunch of iron, so it shouldn't be a problem. I just need to turn it into stuff. Yeah, it actually shows you if you toss an ender pearl, you get this. So this is what we need for the altar. Um, of course, I didn't bring the the stone. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of this guy. It's gonna just mess with me. I know it. Alright, do we have any smooth stone? No. Okay, be right back. Alright, I made the altar, so we can put this down here. I don't know if this needs mana. It looks very cool, though. Do I have my magic wand on me? No. Okay, let's double check this. So we need Rune of Spring. So each of them needs three mana steel, and that's just, yeah, iron in the pool. Okay, so six makes one flower. So we need quite a bit, so this should be enough for five. I don't know how much we can get. All of it. Awesome. That was easy. <laughs> Very cool. There's so much mana in here now. Very cool. Yeah, I'm gonna bring this end of flame. I need to make some more of those too. Uh, but that should be good. We can actually... Let's grab... I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of curious if the... Uh... If the chocolate disappears, I'll watch it work. <laughs> Doing things. Um, if the chocolate disappears, if I toss like a stack down, or if those flowers keep them loaded, I don't know. It's kind of hard to test too. Uh, I really should grab the this guy. Yeah. Yeah, this guy's getting a bunch of power now. Half full. Hm. Or half empty. Okay, so we have that. So let's double check what else we need. I don't know if I can make those yet. I think I'm gonna try it. So I'm just gonna grab some of these. Oh, you get three runes! Oh, man, we can have so many flowers. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to get some materials ready. Maybe we can at least make the runes today. I wanna try out this altar and see how it works. Alright, I should have all the materials we need, hopefully. I'm not sure exactly how this works. I think I just have to throw it on there. Um, I wonder if I can do all of them at once. Uh, let's see, can I do this? Whoa. No. <laughs> oh, shift right click, you take it back. Okay, so I have to do it one by one. Alright. So it is one, two, three. That didn't hit. One, two, three. One, one, one. And I I either have to throw in a seed or hit this. Ah. Uh huh. Do you need mana? <laughs> do you need mana? I don't know. 
<laughs> Let's maybe uh, point this guy at this. I, I don't know. Hmm. I wonder if it has to be in the right order. Am I doing this right? I don't know. Let me read out. Read real quick. Aha! You have to drop a piece of living rock onto it. So let's go get that real quick. I have a couple left. I haven't automated my system yet, so we can't... Let's see, how many did I want to make? Ten. Ah, I'm, I'm one short. Uh, actually, wait, do I have some smooth stone in here? No, let's actually go grab some smooth stone. We can... Uh, just create more while we're waiting or while we're working on the stuff. Okay. Might be a little bit longer this episode, but oops. I kind of want to try this out actually. At least make those guys and then see what happens. Um, it's sad. Yeah, you have to spread mana on it. I don't know if it's enough though if it's like next to the. Uh... Nope, not, not, not like this. I think you just throw it on it. Uh, <laughs> was it living root, uh, living rock, or was it living? Yeah, on top of it, and he used to want. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think I'm doing this right. Oh, it still needs mana. Um. Uh. So let's see. Can I? It, it probably doesn't have enough mana. I actually also picked up the charcoal. Let's drop this again. Maybe that's gonna be enough. Oh yeah, it's pointing at that. I wonder if I can point the the mana pool onto this guy though. So let me try this. Let's pick up this block. And I believe if you put it next to this guy. Um, I don't know. Can I? do this. Yeah, it seems to get the mana now from the table. It's, it, it, oh. oh, there! Something is happening! Uh-huh! Do I still need to toss that living rock on there? Okay. Ooh, okay! <laughs> Something is happening! Let me uh, drop this on there again. I don't know if we need it. Is it done? Right click. Oh, it consumed it. Yes. Oh no, it fell. <laughs> I don't know. I'll leave it on there. Man, this looks awesome though. It's still not enough, I guess. Or maybe this. Oh! Aha! Ha 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 ha! We have our first <laughs> rune of fire. Very cool. Okay, let's try this again. I think you can also right click. Yeah. You don't actually have to toss it on there, uh, except for this guy. Then we right click it to start the process. I believe we still need this. And then maybe when we see the sparkies coming out of it, we can activate it, maybe? I don't know. Let's see if we got it now. Very cool effect. I like when mods have like those fancy effects and stuff. That's why I like Stormcraft a lot. Which we still have to go into. Alright. Aha! Got it. Very cool. Okay, let's try the other one. Which uses reed, bone meal and fishing rods. So I brought some... Um, some sticks and string. I guess I'm just gonna make one. It's annoying that it needs fishing rods. I don't think they stack. Speaking of stacking, is there anything I can toss? Uh, I didn't... Okay, let's... Uh, let's go toast that real quick. <laughs> let's just drop this here. And then take this back. Okay. So it's a fishing rod. So one, two, three. One of those, one of those, one of those. Start it. Toss that on here. Wait for it. Pretty awesome. I need to make more of those mana spreaders so I can actually keep charging my pool. 
And then once that is done, we should be able to make at least one, or I guess three. Now let's make another rod in the in the meantime, so we can try this out. Uh, do this. All right, there we go. Let's drop our sticks. And again, one, two, three, blub, blub, blub. Start, toss, wait. Awesome. Let's go really quickly check. Yeah, we do have more. I placed some here earlier. Really need to automate this. Oh, and kill my flower, apparently. There you go. Nothing ever happened. Okay, are you ready? I wonder what happens if you let this unintended. If it like breaks. Cool. And now I believe you need... What was it? Uh, you need those two. And... Some saplings. And some... Something. What was it? Uh, let's go back. Functional... Spring. Wheat. Okay, three, three saplings. Didn't I bring wheat? I didn't. Because all the wheat is down here, or up here, rather. Uh, there's some. So we place one of those, one of those three saplings. Oh, I can't. I have to toss those. For some reason. And the wheat. Aha. Uh -huh. Started. Stone, wait for it. How much does it take? Oh, that's not a lot. That's okay. And... Damn! Cool! So now we have that, which I can't pick up because my inventory is full. Uh... <laughs> oh wait, I can do this. Aha! Nice, so we have... This one, and then we only need to do those do those things. I did collect the flowers, so I'm gonna do this real quick and then we check out this flower and see how it works. Alright, here we go. I already made one. We can only make three right now because I don't have enough lime green uh, flowers, but I turned all the runes we had into the rune of spring. There we go, let's refill this so next time we have it. So we should have, yes, we have three of those flowers. Awesome. I don't know how many we need, uh, but I want to make as many as possible so that we can uh, have this grow. Is this bright enough? Yeah, it is. Okay. All right, let's see how this works. So we're going to put, um, I guess somehow, I don't know if this is too far. We're going to test it. We're going to place one over there and we're going to use our, where are you guys? I don't see you. There you are. Sometimes it's invisible. Uh, we place them here and our mana spreader here. Okay, and then we toss. I don't have the charcoal, so we're just gonna toss some coal down. Oh, damn it! <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, you know what? For now, give me that back. I'm gonna disable this. We're gonna have to move the. Uh, this stuff a little bit further back so it doesn't interfere but just for testing it now I'm gonna test on some of those uh-huh getting mana you can reach it you can reach it and you can reach it oh yeah and you can see the spark you can see like sparkies here bling 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 I think that means it's working I wonder if it's bright enough in here it doesn't seem to grow uh, I hope they work on this. I'm gonna brighten this up a little bit. Ah, I want to stand on this cable. Not too close. Ah, uh, I see it's sparkling. It doesn't seem to do much, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, we are getting more mana than we're using. That's good. So those flowers are actually good enough. And yeah, we're gonna have a dispenser that shoots out charcoal once in a while. Uh, unless those autonomous activators are actually already breaking it. This guy isn't growing though. Hmm. 
Let's see. Let's place this guy down just to see what happens. Oh yeah, and the idea is that we uh, store all the essence in those barrels. So I'm gonna have this whole thing here, this first layer filled with those pipes, and then have a second layer of uh, drums. That's what they're called. Uh, they hold 256 buckets each, so we should have plenty. Um, there's one. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's enough. We might have to make more of those flowers. I mean, we still have a ton to make. I have still three more runes. And uh, I still have more of that uh, mana steel. So we can actually turn all of this still into runes. So hopefully that's going to speed it up. I Like I said, I did try this in creative a little bit. But I had like eight of those or something. And it seemed to speed it up quite a bit. So it's probably just not enough at the moment. Uh, but you can see the sparks, those sparks there, that usually means it's uh, it's working. Um, it's possible that they should be on grass rather than the autonomous activators. Then I might have to change this a bit too. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to try this out in, uh, you know, just off camera. Episode is really long right now anyway. Um, but yeah, there we go. There are our awesome flowers. And we can use them on other things, obviously, if we ever need to. Really cool. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me pick up my friend here. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. Let's do it like this. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.